Often, the hardest thing to see is what is in front of your nose. The correct answer turns out to be so obvious, so simple, that you couldn't see it because you were asking the wrong questions. Your mental paradigm was not quite right. Around 20 years ago, several molecular biologists began asking a new question that had been taken for granted. Why do we age? An inglorious question. Longevity and disease prevention go hand in hand. They're intertwined. Aging genes and disease genes appear to be the same thing. I mean, I think this ranks with the discovery of DNA. If we're right, you can change human health. What these scientists found was that aging and disease are so closely related that when you delay aging, you delay and mitigate virtually all disease. The side effect is increased lifespan. So you're living 70 or 80 or 90 or 100 and then you live 105 or 110 years. It's hugely impactful for society, but it's not like we're not going to die. Robert de Grey has a different view. The average lifespan of people who live long enough to escape aging is at least in the millions of years. And a new question has fashioned itself. Is there a limit to how long we can live? That answer may be up for grabs. And if it is, then the nature of the human condition may be up for grabs. <laughs>